I don't know if she has. Uh... Okay, second slide, Robin. Hey, this evening we do have a translate translations available. Language interpretation is available tonight in Spanish. But before we do that, we need to make sure everybody knows that both English speakers and Spanish speakers need to go to the interpretation button and select the language in which you wish to, to hear the tonight's presentation. Esta noche vamos a tener servicios de interpretación disponibles para usted, pero lo que tiene que hacer es apretar el botón y seleccionar el idioma en el que quiere escuchar la reunión. Todos los asistentes, incluidos los que hablan inglés, deben seleccionar el canal de audio. Una vez que lo selecciona, no va a escuchar más la parte de inglés si selecciona español o la parte de español si selecciona inglés. And before we jump to the translation, just want to remind everybody, this is being recorded and we will post it on our website and on our YouTube channel for a further reference. Y antes de que apreten el botón, queremos avisarle que estamos grabando esta reunión y que también la vamos a poner en nuestra web page y también la vamos a poner en el canal de YouTube. All right. Thank you. So at this time, if you would select either English or Spanish, you have to do one or the other, and we will start the presentation. Ahora, por favor, seleccione inglés o español y vamos a empezar la presentación. All right, tonight, the topics that we are going to cover tonight, uh, I already mentioned that we have interpretation available. Uh, if you're just coming in, if you need Spanish, please click the Spanish button. If you need English, please uh, pick the English button. We are recording tonight's meeting. I already talked about that and it will be posted uh, to our website and to our YouTube channel at a later date. And at this time, I would like to go to the next slide and we're going to do the land acknowledgement. We'll give you some school information and some COVID things tonight and we'll end with questions. Okay, we acknowledge the original inhabitants of this place, the Sobash people and their successors, the Tulalip tribes, who since time immemorial have taken care of, hunted, fished, and gathered on these lands. We respect their sovereignty, their right to self-determination, and we honor their sacred spiritual connection with the land and water. By acknowledging these homelands, we commit to working with tribal nations to further the education aims they have identified in our classrooms and schools. Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Dave Shockley, the principal of Meadowdale High School. Also on our staff are our assistant principals, Deanne, Deanne Angiano and assistant principal, Kim Dreyer. And this year we are fortunate to have a principal intern, Ms. Maria Circa. The first day of school for all of our students First through 12th grade is Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. The last day of school is scheduled for Friday, June 24th, 2022. That could change, however, if we have snow days uh, during the course of the school year. Here at Meadowdale High School, our counselors uh, work with students by alpha groups. Uh, students with the last name A through ER have Ms. Brenda Lee. Students with names ES through I are under the tutelage of Ms. Amy Roberts. J through LE, Mr. Taylor Erickson. LI through RE and Ms. Ann Nault and R-I through Z, Olivia Scalett. Okay, 
Okay, COVID-19 health and safety. For the health and safety of everyone in our buildings, masks are required inside and outside while on campus. Students are expected to maintain physical distancing. Before arriving at school or a district building, students and the parents should check for COVID-19 symptoms. And we ask that um, not only for students, but for staff as well, if you're feeling sick, we ask that you stay home. Two thousand twenty-one, twenty-two COVID nineteen handbook. The Edmond School District's two thousand and twenty-one, two thousand twenty-two COVID nineteen health and safety handbook for our students, staff, and families is available on the district website, and we have the link there, and that'll be posted. Uh, and just a reminder: this will be posted um, on our website, and I think we'll also load this link into the chat. So you can get that later on. The, the COVID handbook will be updated throughout the year with the latest information. So anytime the Snohomish County Health Department adds something, you will, uh, or you hear they make an announcement, it'll be updated in this um, handbook. Hey, daily health checks. At this time, digital daily health checks are not required for students and staff. We are asking all families to check their students for COVID-19 symptoms prior to arriving at school. And all staff are expected to do the same health check prior to their arrival at school. Okay, what kind of symptoms do you need to look for for COVID-19? Fever, temperature greater than 100.4 Fahrenheit. Cough, for those with chronic allergy or asthmatic, asthmatic cough, a change in their cough from the baseline would be an indication of potential problems. Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Chills, unusual fatigue, muscle and body aches. COVID-19 symptoms continued, new or onset of headache, sore throat, sudden loss of taste or smell, congestion or runny nose unrelated to seasonal allergies, nausea or vomiting, and diarrhea. Our school district is committed to making sure we have a clean and disinfected environment. Routine cleaning procedures will prioritize highly used areas and spaces with a higher risk of generating aerosols or bodily fluids. Uh, our school district is committed to providing optimal ventilation in our school. So our heating and ventilation and air conditioning systems have been set to maximize outside air coming in. In, filter, in coming in, filters have been upgraded and will be changed regularly. Hand hygiene. Students and staff are required to wash or sanitize their hands upon entering the building and wash and or sanitize hands frequently throughout the day. Proper mask wearing. Masks are required both inside and outside. Anytime a student is on campus, unless they're eating or drinking, they should have their masks on at all times. Limited access inside our school. Schools 
are open to students and district staff only. Our campuses are closed to non-school individuals. This includes family and community volunteers with the exception of the main office that is open uh, to family members who have urgent needs. COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccine is required for all school employees. The vaccine is available for anyone 12 years and older at this time. And parents and families are encouraged to go to the Snohomish County Health District's website to learn more about the vaccine and how to book an appointment. COVID-19 testing. If your student comes uh, with symptoms or has developed symptoms while they're at school, we are able to test students and staff at our school for COVID-19. Along with mask wearing, testing is a key mitigation strategy. The reason we are offering testing here at the site, school site, is so when parents or families pick up a student who is sick, we can give them the test and the family does not have to worry about going to a separate location to take the test. And the testing is available in all of our schools. Learning plan when your student is out sick or needs to isolate or quarantine due to COVID-19. Students will receive assignments to complete at home. Most of our teachers, if not all of them, will be putting, posting their assignments on the Canvas learning uh, platform that you should be familiar with from last year. You can visit the district's website for more information about state attendance policy. If the Department of Health asks us to have an entire classroom or an entire school quarantine, we will revert to remote learning. Students will bring Chromebook home each day. Students will bring their Chromebook home each day. This is very important should your student become ill or need to quarantine or if we need to close the schools. All students in the Edmond School District K-12 have been or will be issued a district-owned Chromebook. They should take that back and forth with them every day uh, from home to school and from school to home. Performing arts. At this time, the Washington State Department of Health's guidance ensures all students have access to their chosen performing arts courses. Please see the latest update from the Department of Health on the COVID-19 Health and Safety webpage, which is located right, uh, right here and it'll be available um, online, like I said earlier. Fall athletics. At this time, students in high school and middle school will be able to participate in all regular fall athletics. You can check out the key fall dates for sports options, forms, and eligibility online. And the update is located in the chat and you can cut and paste that into your browser now and be ready to go look at it if you would like to. School bus information. All passengers and drivers are required to wear a mask while on a school bus. Bus stop and route information will be available starting Monday, started last Monday, August 23rd in Skyward. So when you look up your student's schedule, you should be able to see which bus route they need. By the way, just give a plug, we would love to have people um, apply to be bus drivers. We do need bus drivers in our district. There is also a new way to access student bus information. 
The EduLog Parent Portal app is a new way for families to access their students' bus route information and track changes and updates. You can download the app today to get familiar with the new digital tool. Uh, the bit.ly link is included in the chat as well. Free breakfast and lunch for all students. You no longer need to stress about paying for or packing school meals. Meals are free for all students in our school for the entire 2021-2022 school year. Menu information will be available starting this started this Monday, the 30th. And the link is in the chat or will be in the chat if you are interested in school meals. Does your family need financial support? Eligible students and families, please complete a free and reduced meals application. This provides additional benefits such as financial support for course fees, for sports fees, as well as co uh, reduced cost internet. You do not need it, however, for meals this year because they are free to everybody, but you do want to apply for all the additional benefits. The applications, if your family does need financial support, the applications are available on the district website, which will also be included in the chat. And you can save that link if you need it. Or to request a printed application, you can call 425-431-7077. That's 425-431-7077. A Skyward, our system for families to access your students' educational records and school information is on Skyward. On Skyward, you will find your students' grades, family contact information, bus route information, and more. And as I mentioned earlier, Canvas will be used by most teachers for assignments and those things that you may not find potentially on Skyward. I already said this, but we are hiring. Apply online today. Join the Edmond School District. Please check out our website for available jobs. We are especially in need of school bus drivers and food service workers. So if you would like to get a great job uh, with the Edmond School District, uh, the, the bit.ly link is located in the chat as well. Okay, at this time, we're gonna to move to questions and we will we'll ask that you type your question in the chat. We'll open that up in a moment, or you can use the Zoom feature to raise your hand. We'll have people monitoring to see uh, who raises their hands and we'll get to as many as we can within our scheduled time. And I do believe that both groups are gonna to merge together again at this time so we can all ask the questions. Is that correct, Roger, do you think? All right, so if you have specific questions that weren't answered in this presentation, please write them in the chat. And also, um, we will, uh, post this again, like I said earlier, on our website and our YouTube channel. School starts for high school at 7.20 and ends at 1.50. Y termina a la 1.50. Do you mind if I explain why we're all together again? Yes. Um, 
acaba de terminar y ahora vamos a hacer preguntas y respuestas. Entonces, los dos grupos se han juntado. Si, alguna si tiene alguna pregunta, por favor, escriban en el chat y yo voy a traducir las preguntas que pregunten en inglés también. What's that? Okay, people are asking, I can't find my son's schedule in Skyward. Where do I find it? They will be posted on next Tuesday. You should have access to your son or daughter's schedule next Tuesday. La pregunta fue, me metí en Skyward y no pude encontrar la, el calendario de mi hijo para ver qué es lo que tenía que hacer. Y la respuesta es que van a estar en Skyward la semana que viene, recién. The question, will students be allowed to leave campus during lunch this year? La pregunta es, ¿los ¿le van a permitir a los estudiantes que se vayan del colegio durante el almuerzo? At this time, the answer is no, uh, for a variety of reasons. Mainly, we do not want to, we want to limit the, the amount of students coming and going during the school day. La respuesta en este momento es no, porque queremos limitar la cantidad de estudiantes que entran y salen del colegio durante el día. The question is, when does seventh period end? Seventh period ends at, begins at two o'clock and ends at 2.50 and meets every day of the week. La pregunta fue, ¿a, a qué hora termina el, el séptimo periodo? Y el séptimo periodo empieza a las... I'm sorry, did you say 2 to 2.50? Yes. Eh, empieza a las 2 de la tarde y termina a las 2 y 50 todos los días. And that's five days a week. Cinco días a la semana. Other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? I'm, I have something on the chat for the peanut allergy. And what's the question? I don't see it on the chat. What's the uh, question? Well, how is that going to work if the students have a, a peanut allergy for the pre-lunch and breakfast? La pregunta es, ¿cómo van a, uh, cómo van a solucionar el problema de las alergias a las nueces? Si los alimentos van a, van a eh, el desayuno y el almuerzo es gratis. Yeah, that one I, I do not know, but what I'll do is please type your name in the chat and um, we will get back to you when I find that answer out, how that'll work. En este momento no tengo una respuesta a esa pregunta, pero por favor ponga su nombre en el chat y le vamos a mandar la información. Very important to put your student's name in the chat so we can um, make sure we follow up or, or just leave your number we'll call you and then get your student's name. Okay. Es importante que pongan el, uh, o el número de ustedes o el nombre de su estudiante, así sabemos a quién mandarle las respuestas. Uh, question, how rapid is the, let's see, how rapid is the COVID test? I believe um, we did a turnaround in 24 to 48 hours, if I remember correctly. La pregunta es, ¿qué tan rápido les dan los resultados del COVID, uh, del test de COVID al, uh, una vez que se lo hace? Y en este momento, hay una, eh, tardan entre 24 y 48 horas. And sometimes it's way before the 48 hours. It just depends on when we collect the test. Y todo depende cuando hacemos la colección de, del test, porque a veces tarda mucho menos de 48 horas. And the test results are kept uh, confidential, other than essential personnel that need to know that information. 
y los resultados de los test, test se mantienen confidenciales. Los únicos que van a saber es la gente, los, el personal que tiene que actuar. Uh, the question is, when is curriculum night? ¿Cuándo es la noche de curriculum? Uh, the curriculum night has not yet been set for sure, but what it will be, it will be a recorded event. We will have it in a webinar format. Eh, todavía no hemos puesto una fecha al curriculum night. Lo que va a ser es va a ser un webinar eh, online y grabado para que todos lo puedan ver. It will be a live webinar. It will be recorded, but uh, and be posted on our website as well once we decide to have it. Y va a estar puesto en el en el web en el, la página de web nuestra. The question is, how do freshmen get involved in ASB? I would direct them to our activities coordinator, Ms. Marriott, and she can help them get involved in the ASB. La pregunta fue cómo los alumnos pueden uh, hacerse, uh, incorporarse a ASD y él va a mandar que por favor se comuniquen con uh, Ms. Marriott y ella les va a decir todo lo que tengan que hacer. And look, I'm scrolling back up to the questions to make sure I get them all in order. I can't remember the name of the particular test. I'm pretty sure the COVID test is the PCR test, but I don't hold me to that. I don't recall the specific name of it. No sé el nombre específico del test. Creo que es el PCR, pero tengo que, tengo que ver. No, no me acuerdo. Okay, um, I have been told, I'm trying to get back to the top. Uh, will the classrooms have normal number of people in them? What will the average class size be this year? Eh, van a, las clases eh, van a tener el mismo número de alumnos este año. ¿Cuál va a ser el promedio de alumnos? Our class sizes will be the normal class size in terms of the number of students in the classroom. We will try whenever possible to have three feet between the students when it's possible, but we have been directed that we will have the regular size classes. Could be up to 35 students. Este año vamos a tener eh, la, el tamaño de la clase va a ser eh, lo que regularmente tenemos, que son como 35 alumnos. Cuando sea posible, vamos a tratar siempre de mantener tres pies pero simplemente cuando sea posible, porque vamos a mantener los mismos números de los otros años. And students will be required and teachers will be required to wear masks in class los, at all times. Y va a ser obligatorio para los estudiantes y las maestras usar mascarilla durante la clase todo el tiempo. Uh, how will lunches be served? We have been told that at this point, unless there's a direct change from the Department of Health, lunches will be served like we traditionally have done it prior to COVID. Uh, la pregunta era cómo van a servir los almuerzos y en este momento por directivas que tenemos uh, de salud, uh, vamos a servir los alimentos, los, los almuerzos y los desayunos como lo hicimos siempre. Okay, the question, are updated vaccination re records required this year? La pregunta es, eh, necesitamos presentar eh, eh, los eh, records de las vacunas. And the answer is yes, if it's the traditional vaccines, uh, like la... the MMR and the other regular vaccines, students can be excluded if they do not have those. Y la respuesta es sí. Se, se necesita el récord de todas las vacunas regulares de las que de las que siempre se dan. But at this time, students that are 12 and older are not required to have the COVID vaccine at this time. Pero en este momento, los estudiantes que sean mayores de 12 años no están requeridos que sean vacunados para el COVID-19.
you're muted. Yeah, yeah. I was just uh, checking on a question here. Uh, oh, if parent, and the question is, if parents are dropping off students, do we need to let the bus transportation know they don't need to pick up the students? La pregunta uh, I, es si los padres están llevando a los chicos al colegio en auto. Necesitamos decirle al autobús que no necesitan um, volverlo a llevar a la casa. Traditionally, I would say no, we don't, but it might be nice to let them know. Usually, we just ask people to do it in the affirmative if they need to be picked up. Tradicionalmente, eh, les diríamos que no, pero sería bueno que le puedan avisar al uh, conductor del autobús que si tiene que pasar a buscar a su hijo o no. Okay, the question, what will happen at orientation for freshmen tomorrow? They won't la, have their schedules until the day before school. La pregunta es, eh, ¿qué va a pasar mañana en la orientación de los freshmen del primer año si es que no tienen las, um, el calendario hasta el primer día de, de escuela? Tomorrow is Link Day, our freshman orientation, one of the most exciting days of the year. Mañana es simplemente el día de orientación para los chicos de primer año. El primer año es el, uno de los días más excitantes de la vida de los chicos. It is a very fun and high energetic activity day and freshmen do receive their schedules uh, tomorrow. Es un Fresh, día muy freshmen excitante. only. Es, muy, es un día muy excitante, es, es un día muy divertido y lleno de energía. Y los, el, los chicos del primer año solamente mañana durante su orientación van a recibir el calendario. Yeah, we also sent out a Skyward Messenger for sophomores. They haven't been on our campus as well. And we're doing an event for sophomores on September 7th, and that was pushed out in a Skyward Messenger. También acabamos de mandar un mensaje por Skyward Messenger que los uh, chicos de segundo año de sophomore uh, tienen una, una reunión en el colegio el 7 de septiembre. Hey, there's a question. My son has celiac. Uh, the middle school had a microwave for students to use at lunch. Is this an option for students? Yes. Mi, mi hijo es celíaco y él no puede comer gluten. Y en el colegio, en el middle school, tenían un microondas para que él pueda calentarse su comida. Va a estar, van a tener un microondas para que él pueda llevar su comida y calentarlo. Y la respuesta es sí. Isn't Tuesday a little bit late for no modification if a student's schedule has mistakes? What do we do if we need to make changes? ¿No les parece que el martes es un poco tarde para darle el, el calendario a los chicos? Porque si tienen que hacer cambio de clases por algunos errores que han cometido, no van a tener tiempo. The uh, counselors will push out information and they may, we make schedule changes up through the first week, week and a half of school. No se hagan ningún problema, los consejeros van a ayudarlos y, vamos a, y van a poder poner los cambios y lo vamos a hacer durante la primera semana. Are the number of class sessions available per subject finalized? Or could this change? My daughter is being told there's only one class of AP Psych, one class of calculus being offered, and this conflicts with other classes such as choir. Uh, el número de clases o sesiones eh, eh, lo van a cambiar o incrementar. A mi hija le dijeron que hay clases limitadas. Por ejemplo, hay una sola clase de cálculos y ella tiene conflicto con otra clase que toma. At this point, um, our staffing is set. However, our staffing could change after the fourth day of school. And at that, that's at the point where we could add more classes, but no guarantee what classes we'll add at this point. En este momento tenemos eh, todo, todas las clases arregladas con el personal ya contratado. 
Eso no quiere decir que no pueda haber cambios y agreguemos más, pero no hay garantía y tampoco sabemos cuál es la clase que vamos a, a, a agregar, si es que agregamos algo. For lunches, do kids eat in the cafeteria together? What are the COVID safety protocols? We have added a third lunch. Normally we have just two lunches. We've had it, we've added a third lunch to try to meet the COVID protocols as is reasonable. Si los alumnos van a tomar el, el almuerzo juntos como siempre, ¿cómo es que el colegio va a seguir los protocolos de COVID-19? La respuesta es que han agregado un tercer lunch. Entonces, antes generalmente había dos schedules de lunch. Ahora hay tres eh, turnos de lunch para que haya menos chicos y puedan mantener distancia. Question is, who's Ms. Marriott? How do I find contact info? Ms. Marriott is our activities and athletics director. And her contact info is uh, on our school website. La pregunta era quién es el, uh, Miss Marriott y ella um, es y cómo la contactamos. Ella es la coordinadora de actividades uh, físicas y eh, la información de ella está en la página de web del colegio. The question, I think this is a comment, not a question. Having my son's grades and assignments on Canvas has been wonderful. Will the teachers be expected to continue to use this platform to communicate everything with parents? I guess it is a question. Yes, that is not required, but it's highly um, likely that every teacher is going to do that. La pregunta era eh, que eh, el, primero un comentario que el año pasado los maestros se contactaron con los padres por intermedio de Canvas y que eso funcionó muy bien. Y la pregunta es si este año iban a seguir usando Canvas. Y la respuesta es que no es obligatorio, no hay requerimiento para usar Canvas, pero está, eh, la mayoría de los maestros lo van a seguir usando porque es una herramienta que les gusta. Okay, the question is, will there be in-person concerts? La pregunta es, ¿va a haber conciertos en persona? Uh, yes, there will be in-person concerts this year, barring any change from the Department of Health. La respuesta es, sí, va a haber conciertos en persona, a no ser que el Departamento de Salud nos dé guías que cambien eso. And we'll follow all guidelines put out by the Department of Health for in person concerts. Nosotros vamos a seguir todas las guías que nos dé el Departamento de Salud para conciertos en persona. Okay, when will the list of materials students need be available? ¿Cuándo va a estar la lista de los materiales para los para los estudiantes eh, disponible? Okay, at the high school level, generally there isn't a list of materials that comes out like at lower grade levels. It depends on the teacher and students usually find out on the first few days of classes what materials they'll need. Por lo general en la escuela secundaria no ponemos una lista de materiales que se necesitan. Cada maestro, si es que necesita materiales especiales, le van a decir a los alumnos el cuando los necesiten o la primera semana de clases, pero es dependiente de los maestros. Question is, will there be AT this year? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Will there be AT, which is achievement time this year? Okay, um, va a haber eh, tiempo de achievement este año. Yes, there will be AT this year, but it may look slightly different. Sí, va a haber, pero va a verse bastante diferente. Okay, the question is, will kids be able to eat outside at lunch or go to their cars? Would you explain the lunch procedure? La pregunta es, ¿le van a dejar a los chicos que coman afuera o que se vayan a sus autos a comer? ¿Puede explicar el procedimiento que van a hacer? 
yes, students will be able to eat outside at lunch. Will they go? Will they be able to go to their cars? We are trying to limit the number of students going to their cars for a variety of supervisory issues. Um, so that, and we're working on some of those final details. We'll let students know at the beginning of the year. Um, well, and we'll, go ahead. Uh, vamos a dejar que coman afuera, pero no vamos a, vamos a tratar de controlar que no coman en los autos para poder controlar eh, más eh, quien entra y sale del colegio si están en el auto, si no están en el auto. Es un poco más de control. Okay, next question. Can families and friends attend athletics events such as Friday's football game? La pregunta es si los familiares y um, los padres y los familiares de los alumnos van a poder ir a eventos uh, uh, deportivos. At this time, the answer is yes to that. Um, we don't want to say that's true for all season at this point, because it could change if the Department of Health um, makes a change. Masks will be required. La respuesta en este momento es sí. Mascar mascarillas van a ser uh, obligatorias en todo momento. Eso no quiere decir que eh, la respuesta que es sí sea para todo el año. Todo depende de los cambios que haga el Departamento de Salud, que nosotros vamos a seguir. Ok, la pregunta es, ¿Will the Edmond School District be paying for Orca cards for kids going to Snow Isle? La pregunta es si el distrito de Edmonds va a pagar eh, por eh, las Orca cards para viajar en, en autobús para los chicos que tienen que ir a Snow Isle. Would, would Wendy B, please put that, uh, put your contact information in the um, in the chat and we will double check on that. I'm not sure if it's changing or not due to our bus situation. So we'll get back to you on that one. Nosotros tenemos, no estamos seguros si cambiaron en los procedimientos por, lo, eh, por el tema de los, uh, del calendario de los autobuses. Así que por favor en el chat ponga su nombre y su teléfono y nosotros le vamos a contestar qué es lo que hay que hacer o si, si es que las vamos a proveer. Parents will be notified by, the question is, how will parents be notified about any outbreaks at the school? ¿Cómo le van a notificar a los padres si hay un una pequeño contagio o mini pandemia en el colegio? We will, uh, our communications department will reach out um, and, and handle all communication or they will direct me to send it out. So it'll either come from the district communications department or from me. El departamento de comunicaciones del distrito es el que se va a encargar de, de todas las comunicaciones con todo el tema de la pandemia, a no ser que me instruyan a mí de pasar información a ustedes y las... Uh, la, los mensajes van a venir o de mí o del distrito, el departamento de comunicación. The question is, any gathering restrictions during lunch period? ¿Hay alguna restricción durante el almuerzo para que los chicos se junten? Yes, there are. We are trying to maintain as close to six foot as distance whenever reasonable. Uh, and I can tell you that's going to be very hard to do. But students will uh, need to be masked when in, until or after they're done eating. And we do when they're out and about on campus, they do need to be socially distanced. Si hay restricciones, vamos a tratar, uh, a pesar de que va a ser difícil, de que mantengan seis pies de distancia. En todo momento se les va a requerir que usen mascarilla cuando están afuera, uh, uh, que se pongan la mascarilla cuando terminan del almuerzo y en, en todo momento mientras están en el colegio. Ok, la pregunta es, Skyward Account, when are we going to get the information? La pregunta es, ¿cuándo, vamos, ¿cuándo nos van a dar la información para que podamos entrar al Skyward, a la cuenta de Skyward? Sí, 
If you cannot get your Skyward account up and running, you can reach out to our counseling department, your counselor that was uh, listed uh, in this presentation, and they'll help you get set up with your Skyward account. Para que ustedes hagan el setup de la cuenta de Skyward, por favor comuníquese con el consejero que le toca a su hijo dependiendo de, el apellido, de las letras del apellido que pusimos hoy en la información en la pantalla. Question, please, or comment, please repeat the school hours again. Por favor, repita las, uh, las horas de la escuela. School begins at 7.20. La escuela empieza a las 7 y 20 de la mañana. And ends at 1.50. Y termina a la 1.50. And seventh period, if your student has a seventh period class, runs from 2 o'clock sí. to 2.50. Y si su estudiante tiene eh, séptima hora, va de las 2 de la tarde a las 2.50. Uh, if you check your chat, uh, Mr. O'Neill put in some information about campus tours for September 7th for those students that are not freshmen that have or freshmen that missed link day, which is tomorrow. I no need to is, sign up, just bring meet at the flagpole. Si ustedes miran en el chat, uh, um, Roger O'Neill puso in información para hacer tours del campus. Eh, los alumnos que lo pueden hacer, es el 7 de septiembre, ahí están las horas en el chat y es para los alumnos que, um, que recién empiezan, que se pierden eh, la orientación de mañana o los alumnos que no son de primer año y vienen por primera vez al colegio. Hey, the question, do you know if there will be Spanish 4 offered? We are told by another parent that it isn't available every year. La pregunta es, es si va a haber español ofrecido en el colegio. Un padre dijo que no todos los años lo ofrecen. Yes, I, I do believe we are offering it this year and it's going to be stacked in a Spanish 3 class. So Spanish 3 and 4 will be together. Y creo que sí que este año lo ofrecemos y vamos a ofrecer eh, lo, lo que hacemos es tenemos eh, los dos, español 3 y 4 juntos. Okay, there's a question. Are there any numbers, guidelines around what would necessitate a COVID-related classroom school closure? Uh, we're waiting for the most current. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Translate. Thanks. Um, la pregunta es, ¿hay alguna guía o algo que determine cuando uh, quizás vamos a ir a, um, cuando tienen que cerrar la escuela o cuando vamos a ir a eh, enseñanza remota? Um, at this point, that is a fluid number depending upon uh, Department of Health regulations. Uh, I have not heard a firm number yet. As we get closer to school, that'll be firmed up, but it's such a fluid situation right now. Es un, es un número que cambia todos los días. En realidad, nosotros no sabemos. Eh, lo que hacemos es esperar que nos den indicaciones del Departamento de Salud para ver qué es lo que tenemos que hacer, pero por ahora no tenemos ningún número en concreto. Okay, in, in a short while, uh, probably towards the end of September, we will be having a webinar, back to school webinar, um, where you will hear from your students' teachers. You'll be able to click on links. You'll also hear from our parent resource group and our sports booster group, as well as our uh, Mambo um, arts support group. And so all of those will be available for parents to get involved with, and we always need volunteers. Uh, and, do, go ahead. Um, a fines de septiembre vamos a tener eh, una reunión virtual uh, de vuelta al colegio, donde ustedes van a poder, uh, hay links para que puedan hablar con diferentes maestros, para que hablen con el grupo de recursos um, de, de padres eh, y, y eh, involucrarse en cosas en el colegio ahí donde van a tener toda la información. Hey, the question: Do freshmen have to switch their current Chromebooks to new ones? Los, eh, la pregunta es si los chicos que empiezan la secundaria tienen que cambiar el Chromebook que tienen por uno nuevo. The answer is yes. 
and they should bring them if they're coming to link day tomorrow there will be a time for them to exchange them out there or they can do it friday eight to three la respuesta es sí si mañana eh, los chicos de primer año vienen a la orientación que por favor traigan el Chromebook y ahí pueden agarrar un Chromebook nuevo, intercambiarlo. Si no, lo pueden hacer el viernes en el colegio de 8 a 3 de la tarde. Hey, Mr. O'Neill put in the chat, if you are a parent or guardian of a fall sport athlete, please plan to meet athletic director Beth Marriott and your MHS coaches via Zoom tonight at 7 p.m. There's a link in the chat. Hay un link en el chat que si usted es un padre de un chico um, que va a ser un atleta de otoño, por favor planee um, conocer al director de atletismo, uh, Beth Marriott, y todos los coaches vía Zoom hoy a la noche a las 7 p.m. Y ahí está el link a donde tienen que ir para conocerlos. Question, what is seventh period? I'm sorry, what's the question? <laughs> what is the seventh period? Oh, ¿cuál es el, ¿qué es el séptimo periodo? Uh, seventh period are specific classes, usually music, drama, that meet outside of the school day. Son clases especiales, por lo general música, teatro, que se juntan fuera del colegio. And I'm kind of, because we're running short on time, I am scanning through the questions quickly because I think I've answered a lot of them. Um, so if I've skipped your particular question, it's because I think we may have answered it already. Como estamos cortos de tiempo, estoy mirando las preguntas y por lo general contesté todas. Si hay alguna que me haya salteado, discúlpenme, creo que ya la he contestado, pero si no la contestaremos más tarde por escrito. Okay, there's a, there's a, a kudos here. Thank you for all the efforts of MHS admin and staff to bring our students back to school. Thank you. Ahí hay una, un agradecimiento de gracias por todos los esfuerzos que han hecho el, el high school para traer a los chicos de vuelta al colegio. Gracias. The question is, what is achievement time? Do all kids have it? La pregunta es, ¿qué, cuál, ¿qué es el tiempo de logros? Que lo llaman Achievement Time, AT. Uh, ¿Lo tienen todos los chicos? Achievement Time is a time for students to work on their schoolwork, to get uh, assistance from teachers. Uh, it's usually the last 15 minutes of every period. And yes, all students have it. Se lo dan a todos los alumnos, es por lo general los últimos 15 minutos de cada periodo y es donde um, los alumnos eh, necesitan asistencia para resolver cosas y poder lograr objetivos de la tarea. Okay. Will clubs be able to meet in person this year? ¿Va a haber clubs que se juntan en persona este año? Yes, they will, and they will follow all class, or all school the um, guidelines for mask wearing, et cetera. Sí, se van a poder juntar, pero tienen que seguir todas las guías del de Departamento de Salud que sigue el colegio, cómo usar mascarillas, et cetera. A question, can I change my child to remote learning later in the year if I feel it necessary? Uh, la, I do, es, yeah. la, la pregunta es, ¿puedo cambiar a mi hijo del colegio a que haga um, enseñanza remota si yo, si yo siento que es necesario cambiarlo? And the answer is going to be possibly at mid-year. That hasn't la, been decided yet. Y la, la respuesta a esa pregunta es posiblemente lo va a poder cambiar a mitad de año, pero todavía no hemos eh, decidido eso. Uh, Mr. O'Neill put in the uh, chat uh, a link to the counseling department info if you need to get a hold of your counselor. Mr. O'Neill puso el link a uh, de el departamento de consejeros si es que se tiene que um si se tiene que comunicarse con el consejero, ese es el link. Question is, is the schedule, I'm assuming that's the daily bell schedule, is it posted on the website? Yes. 
la pregunta fue si el calendario de los chicos está en la página de web y la respuesta es sí. Uh, there's uh, all families dropping kids off at link day tomorrow. We'll get information, an informational flyer with helpful web links and contact numbers for school, office, counseling, and parent groups. La pregunta es si todos los chicos que mañana van a ir a la orientación de primer año les van a dar un papel donde tengan todos los links que necesitan para los consejeros, para las maestras, para todas las cosas diferentes del colegio. Question, will there be after school tutoring available this year? Uh, that's still yet to be determined. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I, I don't, did you answer the other question? I'm sorry, I, I, I think I missed that. Uh, if, they, if they're gonna get the links to uh, to all the things tomorrow. Yeah, they, yeah, that was oh. more, that was a comment, not a question. That was a comment, it yeah. un, un comentario, no una pregunta. Mil disculpas, I'm sorry. Yep, no problem. Um, <laughs> Two to two fifty is seventh period for kids that have seventh period. De dos a dos cincuenta es el séptimo periodo para los chicos que tienen séptimo periodo. Question: Will the locker rooms be open? No. La, pre la pregunta es si los cambiadores para los chicos van a estar abiertos y la respuesta es no. Question is, if a student gets COVID or some other sickness, is there a way for them to follow their classes online? Or will they keep up with school? Or will they keep up with schooling like they used to before the pandemic? That's why we're encouraging all student, all teachers to use Canvas. La pregunta es, si mi hijo se enferma o si tiene COVID y no puede atender al colegio, ¿cómo va a hacer eh, para seguir las clases? ¿Las va a seguir online o las va a seguir como las hacía anteriormente por intermedio de Canvas. Y la respuesta es que, eh, por eso le, le, le están diciendo a los maestros que por favor utilicen Canvas porque es la manera de que pueden continuar los chicos cuando no están en el colegio. Hey, that's all the questions that we have time to answer and I think we did get to most of them. So we thank you very much for participating this evening. Les agradecemos muchísimo por haber venido esta noche. Este es todo el tiempo que tenemos para contestar preguntas. And I make one last request of all parents on the call. Please make sure we have your current email. Y lo que les estoy pidiendo a los, a los uh, padres que están en esta conversación, que por favor se aseguren que tengamos un buen email para ustedes. Because email is how we send out our weekly newsletter, which will always update all this information we're talking about. Porque por email es como mandamos la información semanalmente que les da el update a toda la información del colegio. All right, thank you very much for participating. We look forward to greeting your freshmen tomorrow during Link Day, any other students that come for campus tours on the 7th. And of course, we're really waiting to get the kids back on campus and with their teachers on September 8th. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Muchas gracias. Tenemos, eh, mañana nos vamos a encontrar con todos los chicos que vienen por primera vez a primer año. Y a cualquiera, y el, es el 7 de septiembre, a otros que vengan a hacer el tour. Y si no, nos vemos el primer día de clase con todos. Muchas gracias y que tengan buenas noches.